So you're thinking of launching a second practice. Listen, never ever do this as a solution to poor income. Okay. You know, a second practice as a solution to low practice income will only create added overhead and stress. In essence, you're creating two overheads. The right sequence is to get your current house in order, right? Like also just as a side note, sometimes it's better to actually have one big practice than small ones, right? But you know, you have to look at your area and what your purpose and, and who you want to serve is, right? Uh, so when we look at the, the getting your right house in order, that means being correctly organized for maximum efficiency and productivity. So some examples, getting organized in your care plans. Like if you're not presenting care plans, this causes inefficiency at the front desk to collect co-pays and schedule visits every single visit. Not hiring for expansion, having a fixed idea on keeping a low overhead. This causes the doctor or owner to bounce back and forth between adjusting and the report of findings, hence keeping the practice small. In fact, in my office back in the day, you know, when I was adjusting patients and doing the report of findings process, I was bouncing back and forth and, and it kept me small because basically, uh, you know, uh, I could only put in so many new patients and I could only put in so many uh, adjustments during a certain time frame. So when I decided to actually, you know, uh, you know go into phase two, meaning uh, get out of something, get out of adjusting, when I actually hired, hired an associate doctor, the office expanded greatly because I had more time just to focus in on doing report of findings processes. Uh, so in any case, uh, other things that can be, that can be, that can uh, decrease your efficiency is bringing in new equipment and not having it organized for production. How do you staff it? How do you market it? What's your care plan for it? What's the cost per visit for this new piece of equipment? When not staffed properly for the new service or equipment, either this puts the doctor off of your functions or adjusting or else the new equipment sits and collects dust, right? I've seen that over and over. A $50,000, $100,000 piece of equipment that's just sitting there not being used because of lack of efficiency. Implementing proven systems is key to more effective and profitable operations rather than reinventing the wheel. So, so here are a few examples of things that need to be in before you go to a second practice, right? So you need to have a trained management team. Like what, ha like what management team do you have in place in your first office? Do you have a trained office manager? Uh, are you big enough to where you need an administrative manager and a production manager? Uh, do you have an executive director? Are they trained? Because what happens is if you expand into a second office, now what's happening is you're having to take what they're doing in one office and then add another office to them. And that creates overworked executives in essence. Okay. So you got to have a, a fantastically trained management team to, before you even think of going into uh, a second practice. Uh, another example would be, you have to have a new, new patient acquisition systems in place. You know, you need to have a, a, a pipeline full of new patients. How are you getting your new patients? And, you know, when you, when you're looking at opening up a second practice, What's the geographic area that you're putting that practice and do your current systems, are they going to uh, be effective in this new geographic area? You know, I, I've seen where someone will open, uh, open up an office and they're marketing to an area that is maybe on the other side of a highway and people won't come from that side of the highway. So I see, you know, when you're opening up that second practice, again, pipeline full of new patients, where are you getting them from? And does your current systems and current operations of getting new patients, is it going to be effective in this new area? You got to think through all those things, right? So I hope this was helpful for you. We'll see you in the next video.